Hey guys, welcome back. Happy Saturday morning or welcome if you're new here. I've been getting a lot of comments recently from people who are saying that they're brand new to prepping and that's awesome. I'm happy. My number one suggestion for new preppers is make sure that you're stocking up on things that you actually like and things that you will actually eat. Um, and my number one suggestion on places to start is canned goods. Canned goods will go well, well beyond the Best Buy life. And there's all sorts of good stuff that comes in cans, things that you might never have thought come in cans. So I'm just gonna leave this quick video for you on a couple of things that come in cans that you might never have imagined. I just got done making some bacon and eggs for breakfast. If you've never tried or seen B&M brown bread in a can, um, look for it. They sell it at some grocery stores. I haven't found it in my local grocery stores, but I found it on Amazon and they sell it by the case. So you can buy a case of 12. Um, I think it's $50, but if you set it up on subscribe and save, it's like 47. So it winds up being just under $4 a can. And this is a great, great alternative um, to bread. If you don't have a way to bake bread or you're just not good at it and something goes down and you just, you need those calories, the bread calories, or just need something to, to put some butter on, it's a great, great alternative to have. And so I do stock quite a bit of this. My hand is over it like this very awkwardly because I already opened the top. Um, but I'm gonna flip it over and open the other side. Um, this one has a little bit of a dent in it, but it does not look like it broke the seal or anything. Um, they usually have a best buy date about two years out from when you buy it. Um, I bought this when I first started prepping and it's still good until October of 2022. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to open this and not cut myself. There we go, okay. So this is what it looks like. It's dark, it looks like just a big loaf. Um, the reason I opened top and bottom is it's just easier to get out that way. It's still sometimes a little bit of a struggle. Make sure you don't cut your finger on it, but I'm gonna get this out, there we go. And slice a little slice of it. So see that? And it has almost like a, almost like a sweet flavor to it. It almost smells like it might have molasses or something in it, but um, I don't just slice it like this and eat it. I actually toast it and it's delicious if you have just a slice or two with your breakfast in the morning or for your breakfast in the morning. But I'll just take a little piece like this and then put it in the toaster and put some butter on it and it is so good. It almost reminds me of the bread that they give you at Outback. You know when you go to Outback Steakhouse, if you've ever been there before, they put some brown bread on the table um, to eat before your meal comes. It almost tastes like that. So let me go ahead and toast this up. And I was going to go ahead and just use my regular butter, but why not bust into the other thing that comes in a can that you never do came in a can? <laughs> this is the Red Feather Pure cream Creamery Butter. And it's not a ghee, it's an actual butter product in a can. This comes from New Zealand, I believe. Yep, New Zealand. And I am very, very interested to try this. Um, I also got this on Amazon and it was on sale. It's, it's pretty pricey normally, but this is a big old can of butter. Um, and if you don't know how to can and make ghee, this to me is a good, good option. Um, you don't wanna be without fats and without oils for cooking especially if there's a grid down situation. Um, and I mean, it's butter. You want butter, right? <laughs> I'm very excited about this. Okay. And so is Obi apparently. Hey Obi, it's not for you, okay? He thinks it's a can of dog food, probably. Okay, so let's see what this looks like. I've never opened one of these yet. Oh, it's very, oh, let's not cut myself. Be careful. Ooh. I thought it was gonna be more solid, but look how creamy that is. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna taste this. 
Wow, that is good. It has the texture of a margarine, but it is 100% butter. The ingredients are somewhere. Pasteurized cream, salt, and that's it. So, very, very good option to have um, for your cooking oils and fats that you're going to need. You, you need some kind of fat or some kind of oil to cook with. So, uh, awesome option. And I'll link both of these products down below. But let me go ahead. My toasted bread in a can just came out. Let me go ahead and put some of this butter on it. And I think I'm going to have to put this in the fridge now, the butter. I don't think it can continue to be shelf stable because it was canned to be able to last that way. But um, I don't know. You guys let me know what you think. Because I don't, my regular butter, this stuff from, uh, you know, from the grocery store, I just keep it on the counter. And it'll sit there for weeks and weeks. I don't refrigerate my regular butter after I open it. And it does just fine. I've never gotten sick. Okay, so I have my canned bread and my canned butter. Mmm. So good. So, awesome, awesome options. Just because it tastes good and because these are going to be two of the hardest things in any kind of bad situation to be able to acquire or to make on your own. Um, if your refrigeration goes bad, eventually, you know, the butter that's in your deep freezer is going to go bad. But to have this butter in a can, great option. And bread in a can, I mean, who would have ever thought that these things existed? But they are delicious. So, if you haven't tried either one of these, I suggest at least getting yourself a loaf of the bread in a can. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.